beautiful day in South Lake Tahoe, and boy am I hungry. We're your hosts, Ashley and Drew, and today we are outside of Riva Grill. And Ashley, the Riva Grill is not only known for fine dining, but it's known for a lot of fun as well, by means of the wet woody. Well, let's go inside and check it out. Sure. Well, Riva Grill is located in the Ski Run Marina, so right where Ski Run meets the beach. And uh, it's a great location, lots of uh, views of the sunsets and Sierras and of course Lake Tahoe. And it's a popular summer spot, but also a very popular winter spot as well. Very true. We have a lot of events going on in the summer to keep our locals coming in and of course so close to Heavenly. Um, we have a lot of the people coming off the mountain and enjoying happy hour and, and our specials for the for the night. So and you're talking about events. Ashley and I have attended a, a bunch of your events. You got the topless Tuesdays, which wasn't totally what I thought it would be. Yeah. But um, <laughs> well, do you want me to elaborate on yeah, that? Yeah, I'd like you to elaborate a little bit on that. It's it's some, kind of something that we came up with because um, in the summers we do wet woody Wednesdays. So we wanted to do something fun for the winters. So what we decided to do is serve our wet woodies topless, and that's what. We, instead of putting the float on top, we put it on the side, which is twice the float. So you're basically getting half price wet woodies for twi twice the rum. Totally wasn't what I was expecting, Ash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they're very yummy. Absolutely. And then Fish Taco Fridays. Fish Taco Fridays, yes. Um, it's all winter long. It starts right after happy hour. So you can come here early for happy hour and then just roll right into Fish Taco Friday. And we have tacos on special, we have awesome margaritas, our wet witties of course, and coronas and things like that. We also do raffle prizes, so every half an hour you could have the option, to, I mean you could win um, heavenly ski passes or That's you know awesome. retail, really cool yeah. stuff. So. And then you guys got some <laughs> great food items here. Not only yes. about the tacos, it's a fun place to come for all your events, but also if you want to come here for fine dining, that's where you guys really are strong. Right, yeah. Um, we have uh, Chef Robert Phillips is our chef here, and he is always trying to make something innovative and creative, and he really prides himself in doing, like, you know, the grass-fed natural uh, food. So um, I won't go anywhere else to get a filet mignon. I think our filet mignon is the best. So that's probably one of my most favorites. Um, if you ask anybody around here, they always, everything's really good. So it just depends on your preference. Yeah. What do you say we go check out the kitchen? Sure, let's do that. We'll be back with more of the Tyler Life Thousand Dining Show right after this. Welcome back to Tahoe Lifestyles and Dining. Ashley and I have made our way back to the kitchen here. We found Shane, the sous chef, back here. Shane, this is where all the magic happens, huh? It is. This is our main kitchen. Uh, we have everything back here from seafood to steaks. Everything is cut in, in the restaurant by hand. Uh, only fresh seasonal ingredients, and it's uh, really where we showcase everything that's, that's on the menu that's a really, really nice plate of food. Today we're going to go through three things. Um, we are going to make a burger. This is our house ground tenderloin burger that we make from all the scraps uh, when we cut our own steaks. It's an eight ounce burger. It's fresh. It's never frozen. It's actually uh, local California beef, uh, certified Angus beef, and it's aged for 24 days. Nice. So uh, then we got some tuna here. Some tuna. This is some ahi tuna, We're super fresh. Uh, we get the whole loins, uh, cut them down into steaks. This is, a, again, an eight ounce portion, so a very healthy, generous portion of tuna that we're going to cook up nice and rare. So the first thing we'll do is start the burger. And uh, everything gets uh, salt and pepper. So this is just uh, kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper that we grind ourselves to really uh, really get a fresher flavor for it. Um, and then it just goes right onto the broiler over here. I like that you don't freeze it either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice never frozen. Fresh. It's something that we grind every day, so it's it's super fresh. And it's basically uh, a steak yeah, with ground. It, it is something that is safe to eat, medium rare or rare, however you really want to eat it, mm -hmm. and still be okay. It's not a, a processed meat by any means. And then we got some tuna. So the tuna, again, salt and pepper. That's interesting. It is, uh, you know, it just really brings out its natural flavors. We don't want anything here to be bland. We're, we're all about big flavors and, and making everything taste as good as it can. 
after it gets salt and peppered, this is a pepita crust. And pepitas are actually dried pumpkin seeds that we grind up. Uh, it has a little bit of breadcrumb in it also. That um, is already looking yummy. And that is going to be kind of give it a nice texture. While those are heating up, we're going to fire or start to cook the ribs. So these ribs, you can see them. Uh, this is a St. Louis pork rib. And we've already. Now, have these been cooked yet? They've been baked, right? Uh, so when we first get them, we, we clean them. We take any uh, uh, connective tissue off of the back of them. We season them overnight so the seasoning can really set onto them. The next day, we smoke them for an hour. And then after that, we braise them so we cook them in liquid for another five hours so they're really tender. We'll drop them into the fryer just for about a minute so that they can just kind of crisp up and give them a nice texture so that they're braised, so they're soft. We don't want them to fall apart or anything like that. Uh, but that will start to heat them up, and then we're going to glaze them with a pomegranate molasses glaze. And Ashley, you know you, a good rib should stay on the bone, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a whole wheat uh, and oat bun that we use for all of our burgers. Uh, just a real good from uh, Franco French out of Reno. Uh, kind of a, a local bread, so we like to showcase that. People love whole wheat nowadays. Yeah, I, I do too. I think it has more flavor. So we'll just let that start to toast. While that's toasting, we'll come back over here to the saute pans. Sorry. So the tuna goes in, and we're really just looking for a nice crust on the outside and toast those pumpkin seeds and the breadcrumbs. We want the inside of it to still be rare. You know, that's why we get these really nice fish so that we can eat them and really enjoy them in their most natural state, definitely. The ribs now will come out and go into another pan. This is kind of like a surf and turf here, huh, Shane? Uh, a little bit. I mean, yeah. typically you wouldn't have these at the same point in the meal, but oh, okay. you can you absolutely You don't if you mix want your fish to. and your beef? Sometimes. Boy, that's, those look good. That's huh? what you're into. They do. Um, so yeah, as they these good. are starting to cook in the pan, this is a sauce that we make from pomegranate juice, molasses, brown sugar, has a little bit of shallot and jalapeno infused into it to give it a little bit of spice. So you actually saute it in the Yeah, so that's different. Usually they just slap it on top. Yeah, this actually allows us to get more flavor onto it and let it glaze and, and reduce down a little bit. Uh, it's another step, but we definitely think that it's worth it in the end product. So we'll just continue cooking this, and uh, I'll tell you what, we'll take a short break. We'll be back with the Tahoe Lifestyles and Dining Show after these finish cooking, right after this.